And we are still closely watching Tropical Storm Cristobal, which is now off of the uh, coast of the Yucatan and is in the Gulf waters. And what's interesting, and I'm showing you this starting with a very high resolution visible satellite. This actually is updated every minute. And the storm center is down to the south, just to the north of the Yucatan. But as you look at this, it's a broad circulation. And in fact, there looks to be another circulation trying to get going even farther north. And if we see uh, kind of the, I'll colorize the satellite for you here in just a second. It looks like there may be some thunderstorm development around that center and perhaps we may see a readjustment. It may not be here any longer. It may be trying to form here now, which if that's the case, that kind of speeds up our timeline a bit as well. And the Hurricane Center has actually done that. It, if you didn't see the uh, track a bit ago, we may be looking at kind of a Sunday afternoon as opposed to at one point Sunday night or Monday. This has been a very complicated system, but I will say and kudos those of the computer models. They have done a fairly accurate job and very consistent with its forecast. Windsor 40 notice that forward speed has sped up north at 13 miles an hour. That's what we like to see come in and out and we're done with it. And that does look to be the case with this. It does not appear as though this is going to be a stalling type storm. None of the computer models have ever indicated that happening. It has. And again, this is why I like showing the center line that that you want to focus solely on that. But I like to see kind of where the Hurricane Center is thinking. And remember, for the longest time, it was right over central Louisiana. Well, we have started to see that shift closer to southeast Louisiana, which is not a bad thing because it looks like the strongest winds and heaviest rainfall may not be right around the center. They may be displaced a little bit more to the east, so it's possible we see some of the strongest winds and heaviest rain not over southeast Louisiana, but perhaps Alabama and Florida. They may experience some of the heavier rain amounts. Not that we wish that on anyone, but we don't need to see five plus inches of rainfall here in a couple of days. A Euro model has also been kind of shifting, as are all the models, a little bit closer to southeast Louisiana. Maybe as soon as late Saturday night and early Sunday, certainly, we will start to see some of that heavier rainfall beginning in. Winds will start picking up through the weekend as well. Not bad tonight nor early tomorrow. Later on Saturday, as we get into the afternoon and evening, those winds will start to pick up and it'll be generally an easterly wind. That's when we start to see minor surge as the winds start piling up the water along our eastern facing shoreline, but also water getting into the lake, which is why we do have those storm surge warnings now in effect. But a big player is still going to be that dry air, which, by the way, is starting to wrap around the storm. I'd said this the last couple of days. Once the circulation started to get a bit better defined, we would begin to see that dry air wrapping around. And some of the models that was showing you this trend yesterday are indicating that that dry air may completely wrap around the storm where you have this small pocket of very heavy rainfall. So it looks like the storm is going to be rather tight in terms of that heavier rain across southeast Louisiana, southern Mississippi, Alabama and over into Florida. Doesn't look like it's going to be spreading out that rainfall over a very large area because that dry air is going to play such a huge role in kind of the extent of all of that heavy rainfall. Rain though still looks to be our greatest concern. Flood watch is in effect is we will likely see five to seven inches of rain that has come down considerably from earlier forecasts. We still could see some areas around 10 to 15, perhaps on the high end underneath some of those bands. But wherever those tropical rain bands set up is still yet to be seen. We'll have to wait until the storm is actually just off of our coast. Storm surge watches are also up for the entire area, and that'll be in effect until the storm is well inland. We've only seen a few spotty showers today, so it was a much hotter day. I think we'll see a bit more coverage during the day tomorrow around 50%. Later that night, far more rain, wet and windy Sunday and Monday. We are going to be looking at the risk of some flooding, but the good news is rain starts to taper off by Tuesday and we return to a hotter and dry uh, stretch as we get into the middle of the end of next week.